So one thing that I get a lot from people is they feel discouraged in trying to learn how to jump rope because they compare themselves to people like Floyd Mayweather or you know things that they might see me do. And let me tell you that to have impressive jump rope skills is not difficult. All it, all it takes is just a little bit of patience. I think the biggest hurdle that people run into when they're trying to learn how to jump rope is that conceptually they know it's easy. You're just jumping over the rope. But because they're comparing themselves to somebody that's skilled in their subconscious, every time they trip up, they get frustrated very easily and they give up. Don't let that be you, okay? And another thing that I think trips people up is, is that they feel like they're wasting their time, that they're not getting a good workout in if they're practicing jumping rope instead of jumping rope. And that's just not true. Anything in the fitness world, anything in the fitness world, if you scale it properly according to your level, it's going to give good workout for you. And jump roping is no different, okay? So this is what you do. Pick up your jump rope, start at the very beginning. Say I'm gonna get 10 skips in a row without messing up. Achievable goal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that's your workout for that day. Once you start getting 10 skips in a row, then you start saying, okay, I'm gonna set my phone timer or my watch timer for one minute, and then I'm gonna go one minute jumping rope without messing up, okay? That's your workout for that day. Boom, 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 right? Very soon, you're gonna get that minute down, okay? Then you say, well, what else looks fun and interesting about jumping rope? I've seen crisscrosses, I've seen double unders, Pick one, all right? I'm gonna learn how to do a crisscross. All right, fine. Your next workout is going to be learning how to do crisscrosses, okay? And these are gonna be good workouts for you, okay? So you learn the basics of how to do a crisscross and then you start trying to integrate it into your jump rope routine. Maybe every 10 skips you try a crisscross or every five skips you try a crisscross, okay? So you'll go one, two, three, four, five, six or something like that. Right? That's your workout for that day. Right? And then you say, what do I want to learn next? Double unders. You start learning double unders the same way. And then what's next? How do I integrate my double unders and my crisscrosses? And you just keep building and building and building. You can, you can develop impressive jump rope skills in about a couple of weeks just learning the basics. But people just aren't patient enough to learn the basics and that's why a lot of people get frustrated and don't learn how to jump rope. Don't let that be you. This is super easy, one of the best forms of cardio there is because it's modular, you can cater it to your fitness level, it's convenient, and it's engaging and dynamic. So it's very hard to get bored with it if you actually enjoy the idea of jumping a rope. All right, again, don't be afraid to reach out if you're looking for some help or coaching, Kimo Sabi, also known as Kai, like and subscribe, take it easy.